a dream match is officially on in AAA. I'm Matt Carlin, and this is just Pro Wrestling News for Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. And this update is brought to you by the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check out the new episode right now, wherever you get your podcast. Kenny Omega's next defense of the AAA Mega Championship will come against Andrade, and that match will happen at Triple Mania. AAA officially announced that title bout on Tuesday, along with the date for this year's Triple Mania. It's going to be on Saturday, August 14th. Two more matches were also announced for Triple Mania on Tuesday. Impact Knockouts champion Deanna Perrazzo versus AAA's women's champ Fabi Apache in a winner-takes-all title versus title match. Plus, Psycho Clown versus Rey Escorpion in a mask versus hair match. AEW. Two title matches are on tap for tonight's Dynamite. The Young Bucks put their AEW Tag Team Championships on the line against the Varsity Blondes, and the NWA Women's World Champion Serena Deeb returns to action for the first time since a knee injury sidelined her back in February. Deeb will defend her title against Red Velvet. Also tonight, the AEW Women's Champion Hikaru Shida in a non-title match against Rebel, John Moxley and Eddie Kingston versus The Acclaimed, Christian Cage versus Matt Seidel, and Anthony Agogo makes his Dynamite in-ring debut against Austin Gunn. New names added to the lineup for the Casino Battle Royale at Double or Nothing, Private Party, Matt Hardy, Jungle Boy, Powerhouse Hobbs, Evil Uno, and Cold Cabana were all announced during last night's Dark. Christian Cage and Matt Seidel were announced for the match last week. As for the in-ring action on last night's Dark, Serpentico rolled up Sonny Kiss for an upset win, Chris Statlander beat Diamante, and Cesar Bononi beat Marco Stunt. WWE. There is a new NXT North American champion, Bronson Reed. He pinned Johnny Gargano with the Tsunami inside a steel cage on last night's NXT. The show opened with Zoe Stark taking on Tony Storm. Stark kicked out of Storm Zero, so Tony unveiled a new finisher that I'm I'm not sure I can accurately describe it, but I'm going to try. It was sort of a 3.0 backbreaker into a DDT. Anyway, it worked. Storm got the pin. It appears Alexander Wolf is out of Imperium. Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner put the boots to Wolf after he lost to Killian Dane. Legato Del Fantasma beat Tommaso Ciampa and Timothy Thatcher. Ciampa took the pin after he was attacked by the grizzled young veterans. Legato Del Fantasma will challenge MSK for the NXT Tag Titles in two weeks. Jake Atlas used a roll-up to score an upset win on Cameron Grimes. Grimes was distracted when Ted DiBiase entered the Capitol Wrestling Center. Also, Bobby Fish challenged Pete Dunne to a match next week. Billy Corgan dropped the hammer on Strictly Business on last night's NWA Power. Corgan stripped Chris Adonis and Tom Latimer of their shot at the NWA Tag Team Championships. This is the result of them walking out on their scheduled title match last week. Also, Corgan fined the NWA World's Heavyweight Champ, Nick Aldis, for orchestrating the walkout. So, there was a match to determine a new tag title number one contender last night. Jax Dane and Crimson beat Harrow and Odinson. Also on last night's show, DePope successfully defended the NWA TV title against Matt Cross. Dragon Gate has pulled Ben K and Naruki Doi from its King of Gate tournament, forfeiting their remaining matches. This comes after confirmation that Ben K tested positive for COVID-19. Doi has no symptoms. However, Dragon Gate said he's being pulled as a precaution because he was in close contact with Ben K. That is just Pro Wrestling News for Wednesday, May 19th. Our next update comes your way tomorrow morning. Please rate, review, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.